Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And today I'm gonna read your comments. This is the video that I said I would make at the end of the week. Now that I've released all my Countdown to CinemaCon videos, this is the one where I'm gonna go through and read some of the comments you guys have made and respond to them uh, in kind. So we're gonna start off with the first video that I dropped uh, five days ago. It was the Countdown to CinemaCon video. We put it up on Monday and uh, and first off we had uh, the first comment I think on there was Arter, our friend Arter. Uh, said, uh, in my opinion, they should at least show some Venom footage, but I do hope they drop a trailer. And that is echoed from a lot of you guys. I know a lot of you guys want a new trailer. There's been some speculation. Some of you guys have said that you heard it might come out uh, a couple days later and in front of Infinity War, and maybe we'll just get clips for now. Uh, then another, a couple uh, others of you said that it will probably be saved for a couple weeks and come out for Deadpool 2. Uh, but all those sound like logical explanations to me, the logical places for new trailers to come. Uh, but I did see some people saying they hope that a trailer drops on Monday. And of course I do too. I would love to see more Venom stuff. Uh, but if we just get some clips, that's good too. That's enough for me to make videos off of. Uh, so uh, Silent J also said we need some full-on Venom footage, a look at the symbiote, concept art just something we need to know what this guy looks like uh, and a lot of you guys echoed uh, your your you know those comments as well saying look as long as i see what he looks like first official image anything like that that'll be great um so then we also uh just skipping ahead a little bit here uh you know venom gaming had a lot of comments this week you know very active on here so thank you all of you guys a lot of you guys uh, commented on every single video with what you'd like to see so that's really cool thank you guys for that level of support uh especially venom gaming who we'll talk about here in a second because he has some other information that we'll talk about so if you guys want to know what i feel about the new brisk bottle image that leaked out and then some other comic book stuff we're going to talk about it as we go through this video uh, so this is kind of a combined thing, and I'll answer as many of these comments as I can. Uh, a transformation scene, Venom Gaming wants to see a couple of scenes with Eddie Brock and Anne Wang, uh, maybe something with Carlton Drake and maybe his motivation at the Life Foundation. So that's kind of some of the stuff Venom Gaming wants to see. Um, I think, uh, you know, uh, Kunai Dragon says, I don't think we'll get a full trailer. I hope we do, but I feel like they might wait to attach it to Deadpool 2. So he was one of the ones who had mentioned that as well. Um, and then also Venom Gaming said that's a possibility and then maybe even in front of Jurassic Park, you know, or something like that, or mentioning uh, that we got a teaser for one thing and then Jurassic Park, bigger trailer and a bigger movie and stuff. So uh, could be all over the place where we see the next trailer, but I like I like the suggestions. Uh, D. Baca asked if I saw the Donny Cates interview at comicbook.com. I did not because I typically don't go to comicbook.com, the website, uh, but I will put a link down below to the interview he's talking about. I did read it today and it's from, I think, the 13th of April, so I'm sorry I didn't cover it. I didn't know this went up. Uh, and so uh, I did read it today and checked it out, and he's talking about, you know, his take on Venom and how he thinks, uh, you know, there's a lot of room to explore. He says some things that scare me a little bit about it. He says, where, you know, like he was asking, like, where's Eddie Brock's Uncle Ben moment? Who's his Uncle Ben? What motivates him to want to protect innocent people, but also, like, motivate him to kill people that aren't innocent and to take some kind of joy out of that? Like, what's, what, you know, where does that stem from? And to me, I thought Dark Origin covered that pretty well. So I don't know if Donny Cates actually read Dark Origin, or maybe he did and doesn't count it as continuity or something. But I think, you know, Eddie Brock losing his mom, at, you know, at birth, like his mom died giving birth to Eddie Brock. I hope that's at least mentioned. He had a sister that tormented him, and he had a dad that kind of resented him for the death of his own mother. So I would say he has some kind of morals because he still went and, like, you know, he stole that little girl's cat, the neighbor girl. He stole her cat and then gave it back to her because he knew giving it back to her was the right thing to do. But he was doing it because ultimately, you know, and this is what Donnie Kate says, Eddie Brock seems like someone who doesn't want to be lonely. And that I wholeheartedly agree with. He is someone who has codependent issues. He always wanted the approval, approval of his father. He, you know, never got the chance to know his mother. Uh, he was tormented by his sister. These all show me why someone would have a broken moral compass. Uh, but I guess to Donnie Kate's, they have haven't, or at least he didn't mention it in the interview. So I hope this stuff pops up. He also mentions Miles Morales is going to show up in issue three. And Miles Morales, as we know in the Ultimate Comics, which we will talk about very soon on this channel, uh, did fight a Venom symbiote in his universe, and that symbiote killed his mother. So when he sees Venom, he instantly hates Venom. And Ven Eddie Brock's like, why does this kid hate me? And then he thinks, oh, did the suit kill your mother on another host? Or 
did I do it? And I don't remember. Like, holy crap, what's going on? Because obviously we know Eddie killed um, Orwell Taylor's son, uh, who worked at the uh, the vault, and he was a, a guard member there, or he was a guard at the uh, you know at the prison that Eddie Brock was held in, and Eddie Brock killed him on his way out, like trying to escape, and uh, and that came back to bite him uh, during Lethal Protector. So, you know, so that's some neat stuff. But there's more. He talks about Lovecraft and kind of this new villain named Rex. He talks about it all in the interview. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link down below. It'll be the first link down there. Um, Caden says, I just want to know what Denim sounds like. He just wants to hear the roar, like the, the t you know, the T-Rex style roar that might come out of Venom. So uh, that's pretty cool. I really can't wait for that. I, I hope we get that at least to hear what kind of sounds the symbiote makes. Is it a whisper in Eddie's head? Is it something louder? Is it more intense? You know, is it something more subtle? I'm really interested as well. Uh, and also the voice of Venom. You know, you, we already heard Tom Hardy kind of doing like kind of a New York accent in a way. Um, but it would be cool to see what his voice sounds like when he's Venom. Uh, that would be also very cool. Uh, hoping for a Venom trailer, Zillazilla says. And also Zeno uh, thanked me for making videos because he likes to play them while he's drawing. Uh, so make sure you check out his channel. Hopefully, Zeno, you upload art uh, uh, you know, videos of you drawing, because uh, I like to watch those when I'm writing and making other videos and editing. I like to have those on in the background. So um, please, you know, if you post stuff like that, please do, and I will uh, check them out. Um, so a Comic Boys uh, said uh, that uh, Mike Rivera, or he's talking to Mike Rivera. Mike Rivera says, I just hope they stick with the alien origin of the symbiote, not the stupid cancer curing suit from the Ultimate Universe, which I said we will talk about that for sure coming up. I don't mind that origin for a, a separate universe storyline, but I'm with Mike. I hope they don't, you know, do that. But uh, considering we saw an alien spacecraft that crashed in the, you know, or looks like it crashed uh, in the first trailer, I'm going to think, I'm thinking they're sticking with alien. And if you've seen my pictures from the set of the Life Foundation, you see like there's like a rocket ship and there's like, like it looks like a moon or a Mars surface with like a little, you know, spider crawler moving around on it that might have been digging for, you know, something. Maybe it found the symbiotes there. So that could be something that ties into the movie too. Um, so yeah, and then a comic boy said, yeah, that's my biggest fear from the first trailer. But I got to say, since there was obviously see a crash alien spaceship we probably don't have to worry about that so there you go uh, that could be the case there um you know pigsaw channels so hyped for you know for the uh, the movie coming out in october um and uh let's see we have uh the story of Eddie, uh, despite my feelings, Swordsman 100 said, despite my feelings on Dark Origin, it is interesting that despite having no chance of ever being a good person, if you take this backstory into account through a combination of his own passion for protecting innocence and his faith in God, he did legitimately find redemption. Uh, Dan David's origin is still the one I prefer and recommend. He's talking about David Michelini. So, uh, so yeah, we were having a debate on that episode about whose origin we like more. I like the Dark Origin version because I think it still weaves in David Michelini's origin but just make some tweaks. Some tweaks I don't like in Dark Origin, 100% honest. I don't think that story is perfect by any means, but I feel like some of the roads he did to weave in, um, you know, new storylines and the kind of the childhood of Eddie Brock, I liked because I thought to me it explained why someone would have a broken moral compass, which I think Venom does have and Eddie Brock does have. That's my favorite thing about him is that he's not a good person or a bad person. He's in the middle. So he has to make mistakes and he has to have had some trauma in his life um, to an extent to, to, do the things he does and i think the loss of his mother and and you know the the rejection of his father is something that does tie into david michelini's uh story but just adding the ed element of his mom dying in birth uh, and then he also mentioned the 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 maid from the lethal protector storyline which we did talk about in that episode back in episode 12 i did my breakdown of lethal protector uh the storyline and we did talk about the maid in there um so uh, so thank you, Swordsman, for your comment. This guy definitely knows his stuff, by the way. If you haven't seen his comments, this guy, he's he's good to have on this channel because he'll keep me in check. He knows his stuff big time. Um, so we talked about Scott Deckard being cast. Uh, some of you guys wanted me to cover that, so I did do that. Um, and then, uh, sorry, there's a plane flying overhead. I have my window open today because it's pretty hot in my room. Uh, so uh, let's see. So sorry, just a little tidbit there. Um, uh, in the Anne Wang video... Uh, Lego Deadpool says he liked my display of Venom and Spider-Man's in the uh, background of some of my streams. Those streams will be coming back. We're going to probably post one up tonight as well or tomorrow. Uh, so thank you, Lego Deadpool, for that. Um, not a lot of comments in the Anne one. Some comments, though. The panel with Anne describing her relationship with Eddie from Gen Venom Gaming says, really gives me a good look at their relationship. 
Uh, great video. And did you say you had videos from the film set where they were filming scenes inside the Life Foundation, Foundation building? I did. And hopefully you saw that go up earlier today than I'm gaming. Um, and yes, that panel where Eddie's, uh, uh, Anne is talking about her path with Eddie and how she, you know, really loved him and he kind of swept her off her feet in the beginning. But she said she always noticed kind of a dark side, especially around his father. And then once the truth came out about the Sin Eater, the bad side of Eddie took over and it kind of pushed her away from him. So again, like I said, sticking with David, David Michelini wrote all that stuff. So sticking that Eddie was not, you know, a flawless person. He was not always a good person and is definitely susceptible to making mistakes. Uh, so I, I think Dark Origin still kind of ties in with that side of Eddie, especially when she says that she always knew Eddie had a, a bad side. Um, and then also Kevin uh, Kurumi. Uh, last name says She Venom is a great character, so he's a big fan of She Venom. Uh, so that's cool. So um, uh, then D Baca said uh, Donny Cates should watch your videos, and that would be awesome. If you guys want to send links to Donny Cates, that's cool with me, because um, I'm excited for him writing Venom. Even though sometimes in interviews he says things that worry me a little bit. Uh, ultimately, I love his Thanos stuff, and I like his Doctor Strange and Damnation stuff right now. So I'm on board for Venom. 100%. Um, and especially with Ryan Stegman drawing, I'm 100% uh, even more on board. Um, so then we also, let's skip ahead a little bit to uh, the the Carlton Drake videos. Uh, it's nice to have someone on YouTube, Jeffrey says, that talking about Venom and the movie coming up that's actually read Lethal Protector series and knows about the characters like Carlton Drake, Roland Treese, and the five symbiote offsprings. And I will say thank you again for that comment, but you should also check out RNS Entertainment, who was nice enough to have me on his show. I'll put a link down to his uh, the video that he had me on. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. He's really cool, and he's going to be starting his own Venom show coming up very soon. So be on the lookout for that. Stay subscribed to him. And this guy knows his stuff too. He's a big Venom fan. So if you like my content, I think you'll like what he's going to be working on soon too um and then uh, also uh venom gaming says well they could make carlton drake have cancer like you said in the video and he's trying to use the symbiotes to heal himself and while doing that turns himself into like a monster and ruins eddie's life in the process and all this other stuff so uh that could be true we could see riz ahmed with a, a, a symbiote um in the comics obviously he does turn himself into homo arachnus the big monster uh we already talked about that in his video so if you want to see what images of that look like and all that you can check that out over on the carlton drake video uh, that we made a couple days ago um that could be true you know uh but also remember the they're basing this movie not off the Arachnus Project series, but they said specifically it's Lethal Protector and Planet of the Symbiote. So I think we're, a lot of us are underestimating what, even myself sometimes, what that means with Planet of the Symbiotes. Like we haven't, we haven't talked fully about that, even though I made a breakdown video of Planet of the Symbiotes and speculated how that might tie into the movie. Now that we've seen the teaser trailer and we might get a new trailer soon, might I might revisit that and make a new video coming up about Planet of the Symbiote. So be on the lookout for that. Um, uh, Venom Gaming says, seek, there's an image of a real life version of the Brisk bottle. Uh, it might be real. Here's the link. So boom, I'll put the link there. I did have some people uh, send this to me. I think Jason on, uh, on Facebook, L, I can't remember his last name. I'm so sorry. I'll put a link to his Facebook down below. Uh, but he sent it to me, Venom Gaming. I'll put a link to his stuff down below um, as well. These guys. And then also, uh, who was the credit? Because Venom Gaming was really nice to say, hey, make sure you give credit where credit's due. Um, I think it was uh, someone else actually commented about it. And he and, and Venom was the one who sent the link. He said, oh, uh, Kune Dragon. So big shout out to Kune Dragon. I'll put a link to him down below. And the Venom site. I haven't seen this on the Venom site yet, but I know that's a great channel. And that link is always in my description box because I like his channel, uh, his his website so much. So make sure you scroll down and see his link as well. So all those links, uh, Venom Gaming, Kune Dragon, Venom site, uh, I'll put all your stuff down below because you guys are the ones who told me and also Jason on, on Facebook. That's where I first saw it because I saw his comment before I saw your guys' comments. And then when I came on here, I saw all your guys' comments. So thank you guys, all of you collectively for sending me the link to that image there. Uh, is it real? Is it not? I don't know. I put it up on you, uh, on uh, Instagram, on my Instagram account. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at Seek and Destroy. And that was pretty cool to see that because I was like, oh, wow, if so, if this is a fake, someone did a really good job making a actual version. But I will say if that is the an actual thing that's coming out, uh, Symbiote Cherry Limeade or whatever it's called, Dark Cherry Limeade, I will definitely be drinking that because, you know, I drink Pepsi products. I love Pepsi. Uh, I'm a big Pepsi fan and big Pepsi supporter. Um, and I drink it a lot on my Twitch streams. So if that that comes out and I love tea so if that comes out and it's limeade flavored tea with cherry in it 
I am definitely going to drink that for sure. And you will probably see a bottle in every episode. Even though they're not, spo- I'm not sponsored by them, I'll probably still drink it. So if anyone out there at Brisk wants to send me a case of them, trust me, I will drink them on the show. I will do whatever you want. Uh, I am, I am, in regards to a free drink to have here, since I'm broke sometimes, and you know, it's like, oh, groceries, you know, money and stuff like that. I will gladly take free drinks to drink on the show and uh, and be sponsored for that. Uh, you can't buy my opinion on the movie, but you could definitely buy my opinion on soft drinks <laughs> for sure. So uh, if anyone at Brisk wants to send me a case, I will drink it and talk about it all the time. Uh, but I'm probably going to do that anyway. So, you know, maybe sa- save yourself sending me a case. Uh, there are some rumors going around that the Venom trailer will play in front of Avengers Infinity War. Venom Gaming says on Reddit, maybe true. It may be possible. Who knows? I don't know either, but I, I think it's a great place to release a trailer because so many people are going to see that movie. So to me, if I was Sony, I'd be working really hard to get that trailer out by then. But if we have to wait a few more weeks till Deadpool, that's also in the middle of May when Venom's 30th anniversary is. So it makes sense to release a trailer then too. Um, and then uh, Alvaro says, uh, great educational content. As always, really appreciate that, man. Thank you for the good seeing your comments on here again. And thanks for writing me on Instagram as well and keeping in touch with me. Um, he's got a lot of great information and he usually helps me out when I uh, start to veer away. He, like, he'll keep me on track. And I, I need people like that on this channel because I don't want to ever get to a point where I'm like drinking my own Kool-Aid or anything like that. I don't even like Kool-Aid. I don't want to drink any Kool-Aid. But I certainly don't want to be like, oh, I'm right about everything. I like when people keep me in check on stuff. It keeps me uh, focused on what this channel is supposed to be about, which is I do want to educate people on information. I don't want to treat anyone like they're beneath me or like they're dumb or that they don't know stuff. I want to I want to share what I know, and that's kind of my goal on this channel is to share my love for Venom, and hopefully it's infectious, and you know you all get you know uh, infected by the symbiote that is Venom, because uh, that's what I want. And I want you guys to know what I know, and if you have a different take on stuff, I want to know what your take on stuff is, which you know Swordsman is really great about. He'll give me his take on something, and it may not be something I agree with, but it's something we have a good back and forth on. And I'm really lucky that you know we're almost at 1,300 subscribers. When we started the show, we were around 600. Then my first video video was around episode 24 where I celebrated 700 subscribers like 24 25 and so we've almost doubled since this show started on subscriber count on this channel and I owe that all to you guys so thank you and thanks to all of you for being so cool in the in the chat and just being you know, in the comments just not dumping on each other not you know slamming each other not attacking each other like I'm very fortunate because I know YouTube there's a lot of people that have that on their channel and I hope my channel doesn't get to that point where people are being that rude to each other. If you have a different opinion, it's okay. We're just talking about Venom, the character here. There's no stakes. The world's not at stake. I'm not doing political videos on here. We don't have to scream death you know, threats at each other or scream obscenities. We can have conversations here. So I'm glad you guys are doing that. So thank you. Uh, last thing is Artur. He was our first comment and now he's our last comment here. It says, Seek, do you really think Sony will make a Venomverse? Because I heard they might scrap Silver and Black. As far as I know, they're not scrapping Silver and Black. That movie's still moving forward. Uh, but I guess we'll know more about that coming on Monday because I think even if they don't give us a lot of Venom news, I feel like with Sony with a two-hour panel at the front of this convention at CinemaCon, I feel like they are going to talk about their plans in general about whatever kind of shared movie universe they're doing. But if they do a Venomverse instead of all the Silver and Black and Nightwatch and all that stuff, I'd be okay with that because I'm a Venom fan and that gives me more content to make on this channel because I'm probably not going to make videos on Silver and Black and Morbius and Nightwatch, uh, most likely. So uh, so yeah, that would be good for me. Uh, that means this channel won't go anywhere anytime soon. So uh, yeah, and those of you who have asked me in the past um, if I'm ever going to stop this show after the Venom movie comes out, chances are I won't. I'm going to go as long as I can. After the Venom movie comes out, we'll do breakdown videos of certain scenes in the movie. We'll dissect the movie a hundred times. Then we'll talk about Blu-ray. What are we going to see on the Blu-ray? Then when the Blu-ray comes out, we'll do special feature videos on each special feature, and we'll talk about that. And then if they start casting, if the movie's a success, and they start talking about Venom 2, then we will start a series on Venom 2. So, And then plus there will still be probably plenty of comic book stuff to still talk about, because I doubt I'll have covered the whole history of the character before the movie comes out. I'll definitely try, but I don't think I will. So this channel, this movie, you know, Venom Vlog is not going anywhere. Even if we drop to one or two episodes a week, we'll still talk about the Crow and the Spawn movies for a while, and maybe those will take in the forefront, but I'll still make Venom Vlog episodes. And then once Venom 2 starts going to production, we will switch, and I will go back to talking mostly about Venom again. So don't worry, this channel is not going anywhere. And all of you guys who commented, thank you so much for supporting this channel and all these videos. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, check out all of our Countdown to CinemaCon videos. I have them, you know, all came out this week, so you don't, I won't even put links down below. You 
you can just see the past like six episodes and you can watch all these episodes in a row if you want and I also made a playlist so all my Venom vlog episodes are on a playlist so make sure you check that out uh, because then you can just watch from the beginning all the way through if you're you know wanting more content from me definitely check out because I know recently someone was like hey can you review uh, Lethal Protector and it's like yeah I did that back on episode 12 of this show so remember we have covered a lot of this stuff we covered the production of the movie set photos and everything so if you want to see that stuff definitely go back and watch our earlier videos and as always I cannot thank you guys enough for supporting the channel so like share subscribe all that fun stuff and I guess hit the notification thing I know I don't mention that a lot but if you do that that'll make sure you catch uh, you know all my videos as they upload and I, I know normally I upload late at night but I've been kind of sick lately with a stomach virus so I'm trying to you know it, it, it'll be I'm sure I'll get you know go, get through it fine so don't worry about that um but I appreciate all you guys sending me get well stuff about, you know, through the cancer stuff and all the other stuff we had going on recently. I appreciate a lot of you reaching out to me, telling me to feel better. I'll be, I'll be okay. I'll get through a stomach ache. That's no problem at all. I don't even want to complain about it. It's that small of a problem compared to the other stuff that I had going on for a while. So, uh, so we're good. Uh, I will keep making videos for you guys. And, uh, and also I am home now on Monday night. I will be home around the time the panel for Sony starts. So any information that comes out, I will cover it for you guys and I'll put it up instantly and I don't have to work Tuesday till night so I have all Tuesday morning to make more videos for you guys so I will be on it I will be diligent and I will get these videos out to you as soon as possible again thanks so much for watching see you in the future peace